credit score is a three-digit number that can make or break your financial future. So the last thing you want is a low number. How well do you score? We're about to find out. Get ready to take off. It's time to soar your score. <laughs> to welcome back our favorite award-winning teacher of financial empowerment, the budget nista, Tiffany Alice. <laughs> welcome, Tiffany. Thank you for having me. Yay. Now, look, girl, I just love you because you give the best advice. Mm -hmm. We've all heard that the credit score is supposed to be high. Yes. But why is that so important? Because honestly, a low credit score makes for a very expensive life. Ooh. Mm -hmm. So all of the adulting things that you want to do are going to depend on your credit the job that you want to get, mm -hmm. your credit score might be important, the car that you want to drive, the house that where you want to get, if you want to rent someplace, they're all going to look at your score. So you're going to need a decent credit score in order to move forward. What's a decent credit score? Yeah. So I would say, ideally in the 700s, if you have a 740 or better, people are always striving for a perfect credit score, mm -hmm. which is an 850. Okay. But 740 is going to get you basically the same interest rates as an 850. So 740 or better. Okay. That's got good to know. Good to know. About to write that down. 740 or better. Yes. Yeah. Tiffany told us she wants to put us to the test today. She's going to make a statement about credit scores, and we have to say whether we think it's true mm -hmm. or Oof. false. Yeah. All right. I'm excited about Take it away, Tiffany. I got my yes. I'm ready. Okay, so are you ready? Yes. yes. Sure. So applying for new credit, like a loan or a car loan, that does not negatively affect your score, true or false? Applying? Yes, applying. It does not negatively affect your score. Oh, not, not negatively? False. Yeah. False, you're right. It does. Anytime that you apply for credit, it's going to bring down your score. Yes, even because, if you don't get it. Because when they run it, yep. every time yep. they run it, it brings it down, right? Yeah, uh, potentially up to 30 points. Why is every that? Every time they run your, why do they do that? Why because it looks like you're trying to get yourself into more debt. Yes. And it shows that you're a dangerous uh, borrower. Uh, yep. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> how, how long should you keep something in your mama's name? <laughs> what? You technically don't want to have things in your mama's name because if you don't have things in your name, having a thin file is the same exact thing as having bad credit. Uh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Tiffany, What's the now? next one? Let's go to the next one. <laughs> yes. So the next one. So here's a little tricky one. Oh. You should never pay off your credit card in full every single month. You should not do that. True or false? Okay, okay. this is... So do you say... Wait, should never. You I've heard. Should you, should you leave? Yes? This is what I've heard. So I mean, you, should, you should leave a little... Yes. Leave. So that is false. Oh, oh my you know God. So this is who tells you that. The credit card companies tell you, mm -hmm. leave a little on. Yep. Because the reason is why is because if you pay it off in full, they don't get to make any money off your interest. Yep. So pay it off in full. It actually, paying it off in full is one of the best ways to raise your credit score. It'll make your credit score jump like Jordan. My mama taught me right. Pay it off in full. Let's keep yes. this going. Yes. Let's give, me, give me one more. Yes. Okay. Yes. So okay. true or false, you finally pay off your credit card and you're like, woohoo, I'm going to cut it up and I'm going to cancel it. That's a good idea. That you should cancel your card once you pay it off. True or false? Cancel, cancel your it. card. Uh, I would say, you're uh, calling to cancel sure. it. Cancel it because you're like, I pay, I finished paying it off. I don't want to be yeah. reckless anymore. You should cancel that I card. Think so, I mean, it sounds like you, but I bet oh. you're gonna debunk us. Oh, Dang. here's why. why. Using over 30 percent of your credit limit negatively affects your score. So let me give you an example. So let's just pretend we have three credit cards. One, two, and we'll say three. This one is fully used, this one is empty, this one is empty, right? So if you take away one of these cards, so right now, if this is fully used, you're using one third, that 30% basically, of your utilization, right. which is okay. You take this away, the average changes. Now you're using 50% of the credit oh. allotted to you. Yes, so you're literally, it's almost like you have two A's and an F. So that's mm -hmm. a right? And now you took away your A, and now you have an A and a an F. F. Yes. That, so that average, that average goes not, down. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Oh, so people don't realize just... that. And so you want to make sure before you close a card, you want to ask yourself, you know, is this going to bring me above 30% by closing this card? If it is, yes. it's really an average. So you want to make sure that's really important. So that is keep awesome. Yes. 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 You know, when do they call you the budget yes. Lisa? <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by and schooling all of us on why credit scores are so important. For more information from Tiffany, just visit thebudgetnista.com.